Thank you, Mike, and thanks for that excellent talk. So you're, you're in the company of really truly one of the pioneers in this field, so uh, I think his long-term data has supported the hypotheses and conclusions that have been around for, for 10 years or more now. So thank you for inviting me, Mike. Uh, I want to spend a little time talking about the newest version of the American Thyroid Association guidelines on management of thyroid nodules and well-differentiated thyroid uh, cancer. I have nothing to disclose, no conflicts, but I'm available after the course if you'd like to propose some. So these are my educational objectives. We want to understand how they were made, how, the, how were these guidelines made, uh, what are the important changes in 2015? Now these were actually published in 2016, but they're referred to as the 2015 guidelines. And how, how, is, how is this helpful for clinicians? How does this change our practice? How does this help us to do a better job managing our patients? To kind of frame this a little bit, I want to just pre present three cases at the beginning very quickly, and then we're going to come back to see how the, um, how the guidelines may have helped us manage these patients. So the first case is a 39-year-old female with a right thyroid nodule found during her GYN examination. Um, the ultrasound showed a 1.7 centimeter nodule. Second case is, a, a, again, a 49-year-old female with a right-sided thyroid nodule found during a workup for fatigue. She was referred to her endocrinologist and had an ultrasound showing this 3.6 centimeter nodule. And then the third case is a 52-year-old male with right neck pain. He had an MRI of the spine, and that showed a mass in the carotid space initially suggestive of a schwannoma. So an FNA was performed of this lesion, and it showed metastatic papillary thyroid carcinoma. Ultrasound showed two lesions in the thyroid. So here's his disease initially thought to be a schwannoma. Uh, on axial, same thing here. So there's the ultrasound showing a lesion in the thyroid, again over here trachea here, carotid artery here. So the 2015 guidelines were made up of expert, from an expert panel of endocrinologists, surgeons, medical oncologists, radiation oncologists, et cetera. It was an update to guidelines that were published in 2009. The guidelines were published, as I mentioned, in 2016, in, the, in, the, in January of 2016, and they comprised uh, 101 recommendations for how to take care of these patients there were over a thousand references that were used to make this a very evidence-based uh, document. The, doc the document itself was 150 pages long, and there were varying levels of, of recommendations and evidence. So this is the publication, again, it published in Thyroid, and I would recommend that you take a look at this. It's, it's available on the, on, uh, if you 